Okay, uh, let's see the content uh, of this video first. Uh, first, I will uh, explain to you the wavelet transform based denoising scheme. And then I will explain the scikit image Python package uh, where uh, we have a few uh, functions uh, because of which we can do uh, the denoising of uh, signals. And then I will explain the denoise wavelet function uh, under the scikit image package. And uh, then I will show you one example code of uh, denoising of an uh, ECG signal. And then I will show you that how you can add a sound device Python package to your Anaconda so that you can play uh, the NumPy arrays as audio. And then I will show you the example code of denoising of an audio signal. Uh, before watching this video, I recommend you to watch uh, my previous uh, these uh, videos. Uh, the first one is a uh, wavelet transform analysis uh, of 1D signals using Python. So this video will help you a lot to understand uh, this current video. Uh, the link uh, is given in the description. And if you want the theoretical uh, explanation of the wavelet transform, then I recommend you to watch this second video uh, where you will find all the theoretical aspects of uh, uh, wavelet transform and, and its applications. And in the third video, uh, I have explained the denoising of audio signals using MATLAB and Simulink. So, uh, some theoretical part of the denoising is also given there and all links are given in the description. Uh, now let's see some uh, theoretical background. Uh, when a signal is transmitted over some distance obviously uh, it is uh, contaminated by the noise and here you can see that uh, uh, your signal uh, FK uh, is uh, corrupted by this noise NK and F dash K is your contaminated uh, signal. Uh, this noise N K, uh, we have some basic assumptions about it, uh, that it is uh, additive in nature. And uh, this is random noise, uh, uh, which is a white Gaussian noise with a zero mean value. And uh, this noise is of a, a high frequency. So our objective here is to remove this uh, noise and k from this uh, signal uh, f dash k using wavelet transform uh, technique. Uh, this is uh, the basic uh, uh, underlying uh, technique of removing noise from uh, uh, signals using wavelet transform technique. So your signal f k is first uh, decomposed into the wavelet coefficients. Uh, uh, approximation coefficients and detail coefficients and then these coefficients are thresholded uh, thresholded and and these thresholded coefficients are selected and uh, by taking inverse uh, wavelet transform we get our signal back uh, which is uh, denoise one now question is that uh, how to uh, find uh, these uh, thresholding levels so we have some uh, methods uh, like universal threshold, uh, uh, beige shrink, shear shrink, min-max, etc. Uh, the theoretical uh, part of all these I have explained in my previous uh, uh, video which is uh, uh, for MATLAB. And uh, how the thresholding is done? The thresholding is done uh, by these two basic methods. One is the hard and other is known as the soft thresholding although other methods are also there but uh, these two are basic uh, in hard thresholding you can see uh, that uh, all the uh, wavelet coefficients lying in the range minus uh, uh, lambda to plus lambda they are neglected zeroed out uh, while the coefficients beyond this range are taken uh, as it is they are uh, unchanged but in soft thresholding the coefficient uh, uh, in this range now minus lambda and plus lambda, they are also zeroed out. Uh, but coefficients beyond this range, they all are degraded uh, linearly by some constant value. So these are two uh, hard and soft basic thresholding methods. Uh, now let's see the scikit uh, image Python package. You can uh, read about uh, its documentation from this link. Link is also uh, given in the description. 
and uh, uh, this scikit image package uh, actually is uh, available in anaconda so the good thing is that you don't need to uh, uh, download it separately and install it and this uh, scikit image or in short called scikit uh, it extends uh, uh, the scipy.nd image to provide a versatile set of uh, image processing routines. Uh, under the restoration, image restoration of this package, you can find the wavelet based denoising. Uh, although uh, this denoising uh, by default it is for images, uh, but can be used for one dimensional signals also. And uh, this uh, scikit image, uh, uh, the wavelet denoising, uh, library includes uh, the two main functions one is the uh, estimate sigma other is the denoise uh, wavelet and uh, for threshold estimation right now only the two methods are supported by this library uh, one is the visual shrink and the uh, other is the beige shrink which is uh, a default one and uh, now let's see the basic uh, syntax of this uh, denoise wavelet function of this scikit image uh, actually by default it is for uh, 2d signals i mean images but uh, here uh, it is used for one dimensional signals so some attributes are dropped here uh, which are related to images only so this is the basic syntax here uh, the y is your output and x is your noisy input and this is the wavelet uh, you need to define the name of the uh, wavelet. For example, the db1 is written here. You can write other wavelets like db5, db10, coif, biorthogonal, uh, and various other wavelets which are supported by this function. For more details, you can see its documentation. And then now mode, uh, the default is the soft. You can see as I explained earlier that uh, the thresholding is of two types, soft and hard thresholding. So if you uh, write soft, your soft thresholding will be done, which is default also. If you don't write it, the automatically default will be done. Uh, now the wavelet labels, uh, you need to define it. Uh, uh, it's a number. For example, if you define uh, n equal to, let's say, 3, it means uh, there will be the three uh, decomposition labels of the discrete wavelet transform. Uh, then method uh, by default it is a beige string uh, this method is uh, uh, for the threshold estimation and noise estimation so you can write either base or visual shrink uh, and then rescale uh, sigma uh, for this one dimensional signal you need to write uh, it true uh, actually it is done to rescale uh, uh, the noise variance uh, sigma if the signal is internally uh, rescaled uh, now let's see uh, one example code of uh, that how we can uh, denoise uh, an ECG signal in Python. So this is the Python code for denoising uh, your ECG signal. So first you need to import some uh, packages like NumPy and PYWT uh, that is for uh, wavelet transform. Uh, this is already uh, I have described in detail in my previous vid uh, video. Uh, you can watch it and uh, then you need to uh, uh, import uh, from scikit uh, under the restoration you need to import this denoise wavelet function and then for plotting point of view uh, uh, you need a matplot uh, library so uh, this is uh, the data x which is uh, uh, read from the inbuilt uh, database actually the scikit image has uh, 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 the inbuilt database which includes some uh, one dimensional and uh, two dimensional I mean, images. So uh, this ECG signal is uh, already there uh, in the scikit uh, image database. So we are reading this inbuilt data like this and then defining the noise variation. This uh, data which we are reading X is uh, original data which is noise free. Uh, it is not a corrupted signal. So we'll make it correct by adding uh, the noise to it. So we are defining a, a noise variance here and then uh, making it corrupt by adding uh, this random noise. 
multiplied with the sigma noise variance. And uh, then uh, passing this uh, noisy ECG signal uh, here uh, to this denoise wavelet function of scikit image. So X denoise is your output and this is your in noisy input and the threshold estimation method is base shrink which is default also. Uh, the thresholding is a soft thresholding and the decom uh, wavelet decomposition level is 3 and uh, wavelet here I am using the simlet 8 and the rescale sigma as I said it is true here and these are a few plot commands uh, where uh, you can see the noisy signal and uh, uh, the denoised output uh, simultaneously. Uh, DPI is used to for uh, printing uh, point of view. So uh, let's see uh, that what type of output uh, I will get from this code. So let me jump to the uh, Python. Uh, here I am using the spider IDE. Okay, this uh, code is already written here. So uh, I will simply uh, uh, run it by pressing this button. So this is your output. You can see under the variable explorer, various variables are here. So your X is your input uh, uh, original signal and X noisy is your noisy signal and the X denoise is your output signal. And uh, since we have uh, done the plotting, so we can see uh, this plot also. Uh, you can see that uh, this blue one is your uh, noisy uh, ECG signal while the red one is your uh, denoise, I mean the filtered signal uh, using wavelet technique. Uh, uh, this is not uh, quite visible here because it's small. So let me copy it and uh, I can simply paste it uh, in uh, uh, MS Paint let's say. So here you can see the enlarged version uh, which shows a uh, very effective uh, uh, signal denoising. So you can clearly see uh, that how a noisy signal is uh, denoised using wavelet technique. Okay, so let me jump to my presentation. Uh, next, I will show you uh, one example code of uh, uh, denoising of an audio signal. And this is uh, the example code of uh, denoising of an audio signal. So here you need to import some uh, libraries such as uh, uh, the web file from scipy.io uh, because we will uh, read uh, the audio file which is the web file lying on the hard disk of the computer. And then uh, we need uh, numpy. And then uh, obviously since we are denoising, so we need denoising wavelet uh, function from the uh, scikit image. And then to plot uh, the various signals, obviously we need the matplot library. So now see this uh, uh, line uh, where the wave file dot read will read uh, this uh, uh, audio file, uh, which is a flute dot wave, which is lying in the current directory. Uh, so once this uh, command is executed, your all the samples will come in uh, X and the sampling rate will come in Fs. Uh, this is done to uh, normalize the amplitude of the audio because uh, uh, this web file uh, read uh, the audio in integer 16 mode. So the values uh, we are getting in X are very large in magnitude. So here we are normalizing uh, these values under minus 1 and plus 1. And now we are defining the noise variance uh, which is let's say 0 0.05 and uh, now we are making uh, this uh, audio x. Uh, we are making it corrupt by adding this uh, random noise to this uh, original signal x. So x noisy is my noisy signal which is corrupted and then uh, passing this uh, signal to uh, this denoise wavelet function. And then again, uh, ma the method, uh, noise estimation method I am uh, here taking as visual shrink, uh, uh, soft thresholding is used and wavelet decomposition level is 3 and the simlet 8 wavelet is used and the rescale sigma is true. Uh, this is uh, uh, done for plotting. So let me see that uh, what type of output uh, I will get by running this code. So let me jump to the spider. Okay, so this is the spider IDE. 
uh, let me close the previous plot and let me clear all the variables of previous program now open this uh, file it is already I have written so simply pressing this uh, button to run it okay so this is done you can see uh, the variables are created uh, FS uh, this is the sampling rate of the uh, imp uh, the audio file which we have read which is 44.1 kilohertz uh, sigma we have defined and x is your the audio flute audio which uh, which is carrying all these sample values and then x noisy is a noisy version of it and the xd noise is the output so let me see uh, uh, the what type of plot i get from this so yes you can clearly see that uh, uh, this blue one is your uh, noisy signal and uh, uh, this orange one uh, is your denoised output okay so uh, you can see that uh, uh, filtering uh, process but uh, question here is that uh, uh, how uh, I can uh, show that uh, what output I am getting is uh, uh, is also is filtered output so this I can uh, uh, get the information either by calculating the PSNR I mean the signal to noise ratio or other one is uh, just to uh, listen the audio so I can make you listen uh, the noisy version as well as the denoised uh, version of this flute audio so you can have idea uh, that uh, the filtering is done properly or not so that how I can uh, play uh, this uh, audio uh, since I have uh, the data uh, the noisy in X noisy and the output is in X D noise so these are numpy arrays at this moment I cannot uh, play them as audio so to play them uh, as audio uh, you need to uh, you need to add a package which is known as a sound device package right so this sound device package you can uh, uh, found from internet and uh, this is very easy to install there is no need to go to some website just open the uh, conda prompt and type these uh, commands uh, in the conda prompt so you need to uh, write uh, these installation commands and your computer must be connected to the internet it will install automatically so once you install this sound device package uh, uh, you can play those numpy arrays directly uh, as audio uh, the, for more detail the documentation link is given here it is also uh, given in the description so let me jump to python so opening this is spider ide so first i need to uh, uh, import the sound device uh, so first I will write import import sound device as SD so sound device is imported now uh, you can play by writing this command SD dot play uh, your uh, 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 signal uh, let's say first uh, we will listen the noisy version so x uh, noisy so that is uh, the numpy array uh, we need to uh, uh, give the sampling rate also along with this uh, numpy array then by pressing this uh, so by executing this you can listen this noisy flute audio so please uh, listen carefully <laughs> okay so uh, you could uh, listen it uh, uh, that there is a lots of uh, background hissing noise uh, because uh, uh, we added the Gaussian random noise to uh, the original uh, signal right uh, now I will uh, play uh, the denoised uh, output so you can have the better idea uh, that how the filtering uh, or denoising uh, worked so this array is uh, 
xt noise and then executing it now listen it carefully okay uh, so now you can easily compare that uh, uh, the background hissing noise is uh, suppressed significantly in this output so wavelet based denoising in python worked uh, uh, perfectly so this is all about this video thank you